You know, a lot of people compare Hazard Kentucky to the show The Dukes of Hazard. The truth is, we're not really like that at all. So Hazard is a city of about 5,000 people nestled in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains of Eastern Kentucky. And our downtown boasts a lot of history, including visits by Robert Kennedy, President Bill Clinton, and a feud called the French Eversol War, a family feud which claimed more lives than the Hatfields and McCoys. In addition to historic events, we also have boasts some beautiful historic buildings that have been around for over 100 years. People's Bank is almost 100 years old, and this very vault was actually transported by logs down the river and hauled by ox to this very spot. I'll get you a boy. Hey, Luke. Uh, hey, Bo. You know, people think that in Hazard, Kentucky, all we do is listen to bluegrass music. Fear is overrated. I promise that you can overcome it. Keep on climbing till you finally reach the summit. Never back down. Never go astray. Never pay attention to the words that they say. We listen to other stuff, too. So Hazard used to be a booming coal town with thriving downtown businesses. Urban sprawl, changing economy, decreasing population, all these things really left our downtown in pretty rough shape. We have been fighting back recently. We've passed downtown incentive programs to bring businesses back. We've upped our code enforcement uh, against blighted buildings. And we've hosted new events such as an Oktoberfest and a downtown music festival. And it's helped. It really has. But there's still a lot more to do. Oh, hold on! You know, Hazard really isn't the hillbilly stereotypes at all. Mm -mm. People think we just sit on the porch and play banjos. I don't know why they think we don't wear shoes. I've got lots of shoes. People think all we eat is squirrel gravy and possum. But in reality, we have a strong local food movement and a vibrant farmer's market. And we're building a new market pavilion right downtown. People think that just because we're not a rich area that we're a depressed community. Well, we totally disagree. Even our mayor's name is happy. People always think we're ignorant hillbillies, but I just opened a bookstore and we have a thriving community, technical, and four-year college. We were even named one of the best high schools in America by U.S. News and World Report. Well, they say it's all moonshine and overall, but... Well, maybe I try. People think it's all whittling and crafts here in Appalachia, but we're reclaiming this old bus station and turning it into the art station, a place where we can teach music, dance, theater, culinary arts, and more. Hazard is seven square miles of awesome, but we face a set of unique challenges. We're not a rich community by any means. We make the best out of what we got. We just created six miles of brand new trails, and we've uh, created new kayak routes on the North Fork of the Kentucky River. Or our unique bed and breakfast. People just can't seem to understand that Hazard is nothing like the Dukes of Hazard. The Dukes of Hazard didn't have a Mother Goose house. The Mother Goose was completed in 1940 by George Stacy when he cooked up a goose for dinner and was hit with a bit of inspiration. The Mother Goose has had a number of famous moments on TV shows like Oprah, Extreme Makeover, and many more. The Mother Goose continues to be one of our most historic landmarks, and that's why we should continue to preserve her. The owner and bed and breakfast operator is looking to Aaron and Ben to help us preserve this historic home. We are asking HGTV's hometown takeover to help us show off Hazard's unique beauty and style, but with a new vision. And that's why you should pick Hazard for hometown takeover. You know, I just don't understand how people think Hazard can touch us like the show to Hazard. Right, Luke? Right. Yeah, Hazard is a great little city. We do anything to make it even better. With Ben and Aaron's vision and talent, they can help us do just that. Wait a minute. I'll get you Hazard, boys. Hazard, we're not just a town, we're a family. We are!